Welcome to the Chef United Way. My name is Hal and we have a video on a signing that may have slightly gone under the radar. Ryan One, spelt one O-N-E, but pronounced unreliably informed One, a 17-year-old forward. Ryan is now a Blades player, signing on a multi-year deal, believed to be around three years plus one-year option, joining from Scottish club Hamilton Academical. Fees were agreed between the clubs before the transfer window closed at the start of September, but it wasn't announced until after the window had actually closed. So, like I say, one that may have gone under the radar for some. One has played for Scotland at under-17 level, scored four times in 35 appearances for Hamilton Ackies and drew interest from a number of of pretty big clubs. He was with their academy since he was the age of just 10. Hamilton Aki's FC Twitter said, he departs with our thanks and best wishes for the future. And he is one for the future, a player with potential that can develop at Sheffield United. As we know, a club with a rich tradition of developing youngsters for the first team or just for the professional game in general, as we've seen with some of our youngsters, who've gone on to do pretty well, perhaps in many cases lower down the pyramid, but still carved out a professional career. And Paul Heckingbottom isn't afraid of blooding younger players when he feels they're ready. And perhaps we've had managers in the past at beautiful downtown Bramall Lane that haven't always been comfortable blooding youth and have instead maybe gone out and got a loan signing or brought in a free transfer or in some cases, Sheffield United uh, with Neil Warnock, uh, just gone lots and lots of striker options and bought them for money. It feels like Hecky is prepared to give younger players already at the club a chance. And in this case, one that he's going to bring in, develop, get used to the Sheffield United system. And who knows how far he could go. I wanted to actually find that out. I wanted to see if this is one to be excited about. So we've garnered some opinion from some Hamilton fans and the things that they've said on Twitter. Neil Graham stated Sheffield, and then he's written O-N-E-I-T-E-D, so Sheffield O-N-E-I-T-E-D, it, it works better written down, have just signed an exceptional player. In his short spell with Aki's, he became a firm fan's favourite and will be hugely missed. So O-N-E, 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 which I can see being a very popular song. Here's another quote. Liam Scobie said, will become your best player in the future. That's quite a statement. I don't know how much Liam knows about Sheffield United's squad, but let's be honest, if he's half as good as what we've just experienced with that sentence, he'll be an excellent player. Uh, Gary McGowan says, you're getting a really, really good player. And you know, when someone writes really twice, I believe them. Burkeye 11 says, terrific player, you've bagged yourself a gem. For a big guy, he is deceptively quick. I'm gutted he's gone, but wish him all the very best. Fiona Theobald says, great impact player who can certainly play with the ball at his feet. Would have loved to have kept him until at least January. Your club won't be disappointed. Uh, also, Jose said, heartbroken. Can we loan him back, please? He's the Scottish Killian Mbappe, and he's six foot five. Balls glued to his feet. His body faints. Could send a defender to Mexico for a panini. Cooler than a cucumber with his finishing and has the pace of a wild cheetah. I mean, that really sounds like this is the complete player. So this is... This is quite some high praise. Let's get some more of these. Uh, Dave Pullen said, yes, he is still very young and developing, but is going to be one heck of a player. If nurtured, sorry to see him go. Wow. Very rarely have I read so many positive quotes about one young player. Because Ryan was born on the 26th of June, 2006. Makes me feel so old. He can play in a variety of positions, but is largely a centre forward. He can operate deeper in midfield or on the wing. Who knows what Sheffield United have in store for him and his development? You know, he may be a left wing back by the time he gets a first team snip. I think that's unlikely. Uh, he was born in Coatbridge in Scotland. His father was a professional footballer, a striker with a brilliant name, Armandone. 
a Frenchman who plied his trade in France, England and Scotland. Ryan is therefore Scottish French, that kind of second nationality. Armand, his dad, was a uh, championship manager, 0102 legend. People that played that game will know he was at Cambridge United back then and was a goal scoring machine. Uh, he also enjoyed spells with the likes of Partick Thistle, Cowden Beef and Stranra. His contract with Hamilton Ackies, Ryan we're talking about now, was due to expire next summer. He's got seven caps for Scotland at under-17 level, as I mentioned, representing them a little earlier. His debut for the under-17 side, we go all the way back to the 13th of March 2023, and he's just excelled since then. In total, Hamilton, by the way, a third-tier club. It was the appearances that he made, 36 in all competitions, four goals, one assist, not bad, for a 17-year-old. Ryan, regarded by those that have watched his development as being technically very good, he has that towering physical presence, capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with players considerably more experienced than himself. He has that composure in front of goal, which has excited Hamilton Aki's fans, and his professionalism has been hailed by Hamilton boss John Rankin as something that we should definitely look out for, as reported by the Daily Record, I dug up this quote from John Rankin. It's hard for Ryan because it's been well documented that teams are looking at him and things are going on. But what I will say is he's been very mature about it. He's been really focused and hasn't wavered at all. So much so that he's played a part in every game for us so far in the Cups and in pre-season. So that quote obviously coming before he was sold and he leaves Douglas Park, the home of Hamilton, and uh, according to the Daily Record, for a six-figure sum. Don't know the exact amount, but after an initial bid from Sheffield United was rejected, United came back in with a second bid and it was accepted. And Ryan has already enjoyed a successful trial with Sheffield United prior to this move being completed. This deal apparently includes add-ons for the Scottish side as well. They've been described by uh, various reports as significant add-ons, but I guess it depends if they're achieved. The 17-year-old burst onto the scene last term, notably scoring in the win over Queen of the South that sealed Hamilton's place in the SPFL Trust Trophy. They went on to win in March. He now joins a long line of academy products to move down south from Hamilton, following in the footsteps of some names you may well know. James McCarthy, of course, played at the very top level in England, as well as James MacArthur and Greg Doherty. And it comes as the club have also agreed to sell 16-year-old starlet Corma Daly to Nottingham Forest. It is Hamilton, a team with a rich history of producing quality youngsters. Ryan One, Will he be another one? That remains to be seen. He's now part of Sheffield United's academy. He'll be part of the development squad and we'll see how he develops. Let me know in the comments if A, you've ever seen him play. Perhaps you've been north of the border and watched him. If you're a Hamilton fan, what are your thoughts on him? And Blades fans, how do you feel? Are you excited? Let me know. Like and subscribe. Cheers.